the hell are you? I'm a doctor. Somebody call an ambulance I'm quick. On it, I'm on it. Get some men over here now. Yeah, I'm an ambulance. You want to finish the job now? No. What did you do? I didn't do anything. It was Blair. Blair's the one who did it. Oh, my God. She's going to be all right. Oh, Tell me she's going to be all right. She's unconscious and her pulse is very weak. I don't want to move her. We really need that ambulance. It's on its way. Uh, look, I'll wait outside. Uh, I don't want to just leave this up to traffic. You gotta do something. You gotta you do something. Please, gotta help, Kay. I just get it together. Well, what do you want me to do? Can you just sit here and let my wife bleed to death on a patio? What is her condition? I'm sorry, Mr. Manning, Look, is but she I alive or is she dead? Can you tell me that? If you please be patient. Forget it. I'll check on her myself. I can't. I wasn't leave. asking your permission. God, stop. Get out of my way. That nurse can't tell me anything. I'm gonna talk to somebody who can, otherwise I'm going in there. No, you are not. You're gonna stay right here the way everybody else has to. Let the doctors do their work. I spend too much time in this place. You really care for Tad, don't you? I just want some answers. What's going on in there? Is she okay? My wife's in serious condition. She suffered a concussion, a broken collarbone, a dislocated shoulder, two broken ribs, and lots of cuts and scrapes. Anything that isn't busted? Miraculously, no bones were broken in her arms or legs. Well, good. Then, then she's going to be all right? We'll know more when she's uh, conscious. I'm, uh, I'm going to go talk to her. Oh, she's unconscious. Well, good. Then she won't give me any lip. Oh. That's okay with you, Retta. Um, you, you, you don't have to hang around anymore. I don't mind. Well, this is my mess. And really, I, I think that Delgado just did this just to, to get a rise out of me. Look, why don't you go home, you know, get some sleep, and I'll call you when she wakes up. You look like you could use some sleep. Thank you. How nice. So that was your brilliant idea, huh? Get Blair to shove you out of a window? No wonder you didn't tell me. I don't pay you enough to be doing your own stunts. Okay, maybe I do. But... Obviously, you're not very good at it. And we never discussed... you getting yourself killed. I mean, when I said that I wanted you to go to the mat for shorty, I didn't mean for you to take me literally. And we certainly never discussed who was going to pay for private hospitalization. stuff I... and then Star Star actually likes you to go figure and of course there's Bird and Bird still hates your guts I would really appreciate it Stick around. Harley did it. Tried to warn her about you, Todd. Wouldn't listen. She believed she could handle it. Apparently she was wrong. Look, I, I don't know what your problem is, and... Frankly, I don't care. But the last thing I need is advice from a priest. What exactly do you need? Do you need anyone? Anything? Does it impact you in the least? That there isn't a single person you come in contact with doesn't end up shattered and broken? 
Tell me what you need, Todd, because I really, really want to know. Read Blair her rights. I tell you, this man is an expert at telling other people how to do their jobs. This is not going to help Taya, all right? Andrew, do me a favor, all right? Take a little walk. Yeah. Tell him to put some ice on that, all right? So, do you arrest my lunatic ex-wife yet? It's not that simple. Sure Todd. it is. I have to ask Taya a few questions about what happened. Yeah, well, that's going to be a little tricky right about now. I'm following procedure. Yeah, uh, I'm taking sure, sure is real happy, I'm sure. Blair's out there free and clear, and she's in there all cut up and unconscious. Blair says that uh, Taya picked a fight with her, that she provoked her. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's stupid me. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. You see, Taya and I were in the car on our way to the party. She said, I'm a little bored. Maybe I'll get Blair to push me out of a window so that I can land up in, in, in a coma. That would be really fun. You know, I'm going to chalk your attitude up to uh, a guy who's just upset about his wife. All I want is for you to do your job you can. And, and I'm trying. Yeah, not hard enough. And tomorrow morning, the son is going to start asking why. I hope Taya pulls through. got into a fight with the righteous reverend. Really glad you weren't there. You would have tried to stop it. And then I ran into Bo. He told me the place still walking around. Believe it? People say I'm uncontrollably violent. I promise you Bo is going to put Blair in jail for what she did to you. No. No. Dad, you awake? Does everything hurt? Yeah, probably. Then I'm awake. Well, that's what you get, you know. Doing a double flip out of a second story window, landing on a buffet table. You ruined the pate. It wasn't exactly my idea. I know. And Bo's gonna put Blair in jail. No. Well, watch. You're going to plead with Bo to go easy on Blair. Why would I do something like that? Out of your deep concern for your poor, demented ex-wife. 